The days are getting shorter, the nights are getting colder, and it's starting to look a lot like fall. So, it's time to head south. But first, we have some projects to finish and some other little last minute things to do before we head out. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we are out in the country because as soon as I started videotaping, there was somebody started buzzing with a saw and some other things started happening. I was like, I just want to finish this video. I've got a lot of things already filmed. Now I just needed to get the introduction done and then we could show you all the things we've been working on. In our last video, one of the projects that was unfinished and we didn't have the part back yet was something that um, some an Amish man was making for us for the underbelly that protects the galley tank. The... Yeah. Yeah. As you saw in our last video, the old one had gotten rusty and had some holes and was collecting water from the tires and stuff. So the new tank was built by some Amish and we were able to get that, put that back in. Yep. And while he was doing that, I was making an Instapot soup. And I'll show you that too in the video. So we're going to just take you through everything of what we've been up to and our plans at the end. So stick around till the end. That's what we've been waiting for. Look at this beauty. Woo! Wow. And it costs what? Forty dollars. Just under. Yeah. And then he. We got some insulation with it too. Yeah, he gave us the insulation and eggs. Well, I did pay for the. Eggs. Yeah, two dollars a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the hole that the pipe's going to go through. And then what are you going to do to seal that off so the water doesn't go in there again? Uh, combination of tape. Maybe just all tape, I'm not sure. Okay. Gary's gonna use this Gorilla Tape. This stuff is strong stuff. We've used it on other things too. And it's really tough. Sticks really well. So he's gonna use that to go around that where the piping goes through. The ABS piping, if you didn't see our last video on, <laughs> do not use PVC. And then he's going to have to do the corners as well. So with this. gave Gary some screws. It only takes six. <laughs> These are heavy duty things. Nice. He didn't even charge for labor. Wow. $30 for the pan and the insulation six. Cool. You look chilly. <laughs> okay, I got a bunch of several screws in it. And the original one had six. How many you got in this one? Well, there were six left in the original. I don't know how many it had really. Oh. But there is like four or five on each side. I'm just debating on one on the end here because I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway. <laughs> is it moving? This? Yeah. No, it's pretty tight. Oh. These 
other ones are holding it. I just thought maybe if I could draw this up a little bit, it'd be better. But oh. if it doesn't hit anything, it'll just be a screw up in no man's land. Okay. But uh, I got I got tape stuff up yet on the corners mm -hmm. and then around the pipe. Okay, soup will be ready in about probably 15 minutes. Oh, it shouldn't take more than an hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. Racket. I am making Instant Pot soup, and I made it before, just, just experimenting, and it turned out really good. But do you think that I took notes? Do you think that I wrote it down anywhere? No. So. If this turns out, I will put the recipe in the description down below. But I have to warn you, I don't measure things. I just kind of put it in there until it looks right. Um, I'm making it with pre-cooked chicken that was rotisserie chicken that I had for leftovers, and I froze it. And so I took that out of the freezer. I took two small packages out for that. And then I did um, celery and lots of carrots. And my spices were rosemary, dried parsley, I used minced garlic, um, what else, what else, what else? Himalayan and pink sea salt, and black cracked pepper. I think that's it. And then I did one cup of long grain brown rice from Lundberg's. And that normally takes 45 minutes to make. This is uh, going to take about 15 in the Instapot once the steam builds up. And it's already on the countdown. I'm down to six minutes left here. I should have videotaped it all, but it's really hard when you're trying to cook and you're filming at the same time. <laughs> so I, I started the frozen chicken in the Instapot and I put it on saute with a little bit of olive oil and some minced garlic. And I just kind of did that until it started breaking apart, until the chicken started breaking apart. And then, and then I shut it off. And then I added uh, five cups of chicken broth. I don't have room to have a lot of chicken broth on hand, so this is what I use. It's called Better Than Bouillon. And it's more like a paste. I also have one for vegetable broth. And I didn't use it like one to one ratio. I, I didn't do like one teaspoon of the bouillon for one cup of water. I did three heaping teaspoons and um, five cups of water. So it's probably pretty close, but I figure, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of flavors in here from everything else. I really didn't need as much broth. I'm really hoping it turns out because when I made it the last time, it really was good. It was very tender. Everything was yummy. So I'm going to do a countdown. It's countdown. So now four minutes. And when it gets to the point where I'm supposed to vent it, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it just sit for a little bit until maybe an extra five minutes or so where it starts to kind of slowly come down on its own. And then I will hit the vent after about five minutes and release the steam and then we'll know how it turns out all right 15 minutes was done i'm going to let this go to about five minutes more and then there won't be as much pressure to release and it'll let it cook just a little bit longer all right i don't know if you can see that because it's digital but it's l o and then 06. So now I'm going to vent it. And we'll just hope. But I want to get it away from the counter, from the cupboard here. I don't want that steam on there, so I gotta turn this around. Alright, here we go. Stand back. I didn't show the whole time. But ooh, smells good. I can smell the rosemary garlic big thing will be if the rice is done that's the only thing i'm concerned about is the rice we don't want chewy rice all 
That sound you hear is the vent above my head, venting out some of the steam. Ooh, well, sure looks like it's cooked. Veggies are. Chicken looks good. Big thing will be when we taste it. It's going to get down to 38 degrees tonight in September. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. But this is what you got to eat when it's cold out. Making sure he can doesn't back up over that curb. <laughs> hmm. Or into this car. Yikes! It is a brisk morning. <laughs> I think it was 42 degrees at 8 o'clock. We're on our way to get the RV checked, the brakes and the bearings and all that stuff, right? Yes. And we will be, so we're, everything will be good to go. <laughs> the trees really haven't been turning much. It's really weird. Uh, it's very slow this fall. I was going to show you some color, but it's just not a lot. We're gonna have some lows in the 30s. Like last night was 39. We've got a couple of nights coming up in the 30, like 33. <laughs> There's another RV here. I wonder what they're having done. Gotta find out where to drop it off. He said to park between, park next to this thing, next to this one, but it's not a whole lot of room here. There's a car. Yeah. Okay, Gary said there's plenty of room. Oh, he can't see me because I can't see him. Okay, I gotta get over here. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, that car. Oh, wait. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's try that again. That's better. Okay. You can't see me. There I am. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. You got lots of. I don't know how far back you want to come. Yeah. This one looks like it needs a little work. I wonder if it was a seasonal somewhere. Got a lot of algae and stuff on it, a lot of green. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna drop it. back. Hopefully nothing major has to be done. Yep. 
Got her back. Another thing on Gary's list was to clean out the vents. You took, uh, you can see those tiny little holes. There's point, yeah, those there. We cover those with scotch tape because otherwise bugs can get in there and come into the house. This is actually a lot more fun than it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to do what? Well, when we're done at the table, I'm going to take the cover off, take the screw out of the center of the fan, and take the blades down, and then just kind of wipe out everything inside and clean the blades and the screen, and then put it all back together. You're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I took this little screw out of here. And just take that off. Yep. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Ugh. And all I have to do is clean that off. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, like moldy kind of stuff up there. This is done, what, what do you do, maybe twice a year? Yeah, Things depending. Like yeah. yeah. If you go through a dust storm, you'd want to do it more often. <laughs> yeah. Or a lot of condensation. It's another reason to do it. And we use a natural cleaner on everything. Plant-based cleaner. Non-toxic. Does the trick. Remember that uh, spray paint we used because we couldn't find quart of quarts of paint anywhere? Well, the spray paint did not last on the palettes at all. That looked horrible. And so, lo and behold, we're going through some of our stuff here at, at uh, Gary's Mom's and we found what was left of uh, the quart that we had used before. So Gary scraped all the bad stuff off and now it is it has this new coating on it which looks so much better it covers so much better it's not a paint it's a stain but it doesn't act like a stain so I don't know it's kind of a weird kind of a weird stain in my opinion but anyway this looks a lot better I'm so happy it looks good We gave our furnace vents a new coat. These were getting kind of worn on the edges, so gave them a new fresh coat of paint. They look much nicer.
sprucing up some more. And you paint and you painted the front of this too, didn't you? Yeah. That looks a lot better. It was showing some signs of some kind of rust on it. These are these are from rock chips. Some of it might be from the hail when we got the hailstorm it bounced up. We were standing outside for about five minutes and at least 30 cars went by when we first started to videotape earlier in the video. And we were gonna finish the video there too, but we found a quieter place, hopefully. That was a, that was just a county road. It was a county road. And now we're on a smaller county road. So let's see how that goes. All right, we have uh, several other things that we've done to get ready to go. One of them is we got our absentee ballots. So we are ready to vote. This is a very important election. It's a midterm, but it's a very important election. It just seems like the moral compass of our nation has gone really haywire. And yes, God loves everyone. He loves all sinners, but he doesn't always love all the sins. In fact, he never loves the sins, <laughs> ever. And we're all sinners, but there's a difference between Don't want to make our channel into a political thing. It never has been, but boy, what used to be good is now bad, and what used to be bad is now good. And that is really weird. And it's just So we do what we can. We pray about it, uh, we leave it in God's hands, and we cast our votes to yep. make our voice heard in this country. Get to know what your your candidates believe or what they are standing for. Make sure you know that. Don't just go by what you're seeing in the commercials and the videos on YouTube and things like that. Get to know what they really are standing for. And if you don't agree with it, then make your voice heard. We have... Um, plans for this weekend. Gary is going to be serving at a church that he served for over 33 years. And we're going back for the first time in 10. Yeah. So it'll be interesting and fun. It's for a, something called the Welcome Home Sunday. A lot of people have stopped going to church because of COVID and they never came back. And that's happening everywhere in every denomination. And we're just, I think it's a great idea and hopefully some people will come back for this. That'd be great. Um, then we have a wedding after that, the weekend after that. He's not performing the wedding. We're just going as attendees. And then we're going to be heading south after that. We will let you know in a future video where we're going. But we do have some big news. We don't know how long we're going to be gone. <laughs> and our youngest daughter and her husband are expecting in March, and they're expecting twins. <laughs> this will be the second set of twins of our grandchildren. We have uh, two others that are, are, our other twins are 17 years old now, so this is going to be kind of fun having the babies again. We're excited. We're going to be uh, doing a lot of prayers for them and make sure everything Asking that everything goes smoothly. And then we're also praying that if we can be of any help, that we would be able to travel back, even in the cold, colder weather. <laughs> but, yeah, we've got some ideas in our heads yeah. um, of what we're going to do. One of the other things we did a lot this summer was we were looking into, again, looking into places where we would want to live if we lived in a stick and brick house and uh, we have really narrowed it down we 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 really kind of fell in love with this little town last year and it's right in between two of our kids right very convenient for them and it's not that far from the third so that that's pretty cool the fourth one's still in canada so we can't get very close to them but um we'll nothing really came up though uh, for us, so we're going to be still <laughs> watching that and looking into that more. But God does provide, and we are on the roads of 
faith. Exactly. <laughs> and we know that at just the right time, <laughs> the right thing will happen. All right. <laughs> if you haven't checked out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith, we do have some extra features of some other things we've been doing over the summer on there. That red subscribe button down below and ring the bell next to it so you'll be notified every time new videos come up. On the next page, we're going to have some other videos you can be checking out. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.